Okay, tell us about your acronym. Well, before you do, I have a question about it. <laughs> okay, go ahead. So it's one thing to read an acronym, but then it's one, it's another thing to say it out loud. So is it win, win, how do you say it? <laughs> it's, it's why you do what you do. <laughs> you know, there's, you're trying to do the WYSIWYG thing. I am trying to do the acronym. Yeah, yeah. Don't, don't, don't try. <laughs> Good try. <laughs> System. Why you do what you do. W-Y-D. W-Y-D. There, okay. <laughs> so I came up with this. I read the book by Simon Sinek, which we were talking about before. Yeah. And it hit me very strongly. And it's wonderful. If you read the book, it's great. There's another concept in Japanese culture called Ikigai. I-K-I-G-A-I. -I -I. And I came across this after I wrote the book. But I write about this on my blog extensively about Ikigai. Ikigai is concentric circles like a Venn diagram. Remember from your math class where things come together, where all the circles come together. And there's, I think, six circles that come together in this like total, like the filet mignon of Ikigai is why you. What makes you tick? Oh, what like is it that. about you? Oh, I got to look at it. I'll send you, okay. I'll send you the link. It's, it's cool. And we'll, send, we'll add, it to, add it to the profile here. And that'd be great. So the concept is. You can talk about what you do, and you can bore the pants off of people. And you can talk about what you used to do, and you can sort of hope that they'll figure out how that means what you're doing today and what you want to do in your future, but they won't think that hard because people don't have that attention span, no. nor do they have that creativity. No. So you've got to say it. And if who can say it? It's what I said before. No one can say it as well as you can. But don't just tell us what. That's elementary. That's your resume. Yeah. Tell us why. What's in your heart? What's in your soul? What's in your brain? And use all three together, depending on what you do, and impress people that you've got your act together and you understand what makes yourself tick. And then they buy into you. Or at least they buy into you better than the competitor. So let's do it. Let's, let's show the viewers what, what that looks like in action. You do it and I'll do it. Okay. So why do I do what I do? Why do I do what I do? I have two businesses. They're diverse businesses, credit card processing and LinkedIn coaching. What's wrong with this guy, all right? It's, it's really weird. It happens, life is a journey. I found that I could do both and why I do what I do, I combine the two. If you look at my LinkedIn profile, you'll see I talk about I do A and I do B. And what's the common thread? The common thread is, I am completely client centric. No matter what piece of my business, you are my client. You get 110% of me because I want to treat you better than I've been treated as a client by other people. Right. And that's my promise to you. And as a result, my tagline is we exceed expectations. And that comes back to me over and over and over again, because people just expect you to speak, walk away and never come back. They have access to me throughout. That's the deal. You hire me. I will coach you, but then you can always come back to me for questions. I will help you as we go through our journeys. It's good for me. It's good for you. The universe is saved. There you go. That's why I do what I do. That's very what about clear. You? It's very clear and it's an emotional thing, which is what stays with people. So I help uh, lawyers, architects, doctors, and other professionals to meet their goals for their practice. And what that means to me is they move from the passenger seat of their bus back into the driver's seat. <laughs> oh, I like that. That's good. I like that. And I do that because it's what I did with my life. Okay. And it feels good to do it. So and it's, isn't it great to see people beam back at you for the effect you've had on them? So great. <laughs> it's psychic compensation, as I call it. it wow. You can't package it. You can't touch it. You can just revel in it. Yeah. And it doesn't yeah. happen to everybody the same way. It's energizing. So we